Hi everyone, my name is Han Hui Hui and 3H means Housing, Healthcare and Human Rights, specifically our housing rights. On August 2024, I was summoned to Singapore Police Station and outside the police station, I filmed a live video saying that public resources should not be used on the 12 years of political persecution against me. Public resources should be used to improve the lives of Singaporeans and protect our future generation instead. Until today, the AGC is still labelling me as the leader of Singaporeans and demanding me to give them $23,000 but there's still a shortfall of about $8,000 which is why I'm making this video to raise awareness on political persecution and how bad our housing situation is. According to the government propaganda published October 2024, they try to brainwash Singaporeans that the housing situation in Singapore is being controlled by the government. But the fact is the competition is as many as 20 applicants per flat in some project. Is it really just 20 applicants or is it more than 20 applicants? So the Singapore government wants to get people to get people. He says in the news, you understand, the house of Singapore is enough. Singapore's house, every house can be able to get people. But every house has 20 people to get people. And it's really 20 people, it's more than 20 people. It's more than 20 people. The fact is there are more than 29 applicants fighting for each two-room flexi flat and the median rate is actually 22.2 .2. so there are more than 22.2 .2 people fighting for one particular house. Then in that case what's going to happen to the remaining 95% or more than 95% of the population who cannot get their BTO and go to the resale market. So how many more million dollar HDB will we see? Are the cooling measures that the government has come up with going to work? 所以呢，四十其实是每一间屋子有超过二十九个人在标，然后不要紧，超过五十八间的屋子对吗？有超过二十二点二个人在标。所以这就代表了，像剩余的那些九十五八间或者超过九十五八间的人，他们根本拿不